Hey guys, it's Simone, aka Absy Frosty, and today I'm I'm making a tutorial on how to add Windows 10 Professional Fresh Install to WDS, which is a feature in Windows Server 2012 R2, so that you can PXC boot and install your operating system on on any computer basically in a very efficient and quick manner. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is find your ISO file and mount it. Uh, I have this ISO file, uh, which is the Windows 10 Pro um, x86 and x64 combo installer, which uh, which which lets you boot uh, in 32-bit uh, or 64-bit, and it'll ask you to choose between when you boot off the media. Um, so let's go ahead and mount it. So with Windows Server 2012, you just double-click it, and it's gonna mount it um, automatically. And we have some files in here. See, like here, I have x64 and x86. Uh, I'm gonna add the x64 image to to the uh, WDS in this video, and I'll do the x86 off camera or off video. Um, so let's go up and launch WDS, and then you want to scroll down uh, all the way until you see Windows Deployment Services. Open that up on servers that's my server right there let's okay so let's add the install image first and right click on install images and do add image group now here I'm going to type in Windows 10 Pro and then click OK so normally now I would add the install image but because Windows 10 uses a .esd installer uh, we need to go ahead and convert that to a .wim file so that we can then add it to the install images group. So let's go ahead and open up our tool, which is called NT Lite. You can go and download this tool uh, from the link that I will be putting in the description down below. So just go ahead, download, install it, and then open it up. So I'm going to open it. Now over here, you have to go to the Add drop-down button here and go to Image File. WIM, ESD, or SWM. So let's click that. We want to go to um, the mounted ISO or the virtual drive. Browse to your architecture, um, sources, and then here you should find the install.esd file. Click open. Let's give it a second. Click the, uh, the category and then go to convert. Go to WIM and then you are going to uncheck this replace source image and then click OK and I have already done this and it's right here on my desktop so once you have your whim you're going to want to go to your WDS again which I closed uh, let's just go and open that up again over here uh, servers here okay now we want to go install images Windows 10 Pro let's go and Add an install image. Let's browse to the file location. Mine's on my desktop. Let's grab that. Let's click open. Next. See X64. Perfect Windows 10 Pro. Um, yep. And let's click next. That's fine. And now let's just wait for this to go through. Once that is finished, you should see the selected images were successfully added to the server right here. Uh, click finish. Um, and so now now you have the install image, but we also have to add the boot image so you can actually boot into the installer So let's go to boot images right click on that click add a boot image Browse to the boot.wim file which we saw earlier um, So let's go back there sources and see the boot.wim file it should be in the same directory as the install.esd file So select it and then click open Now click next um, and here, I'm just going to rename this so it's not super generic. Um, Windows 10 setup. Windows 10. Uh, I'll throw in Pro, even though it doesn't really matter. Why not? Okay, click Next. Click Next again. And once that's done, you'll see it pop up in the list of the boot images. So mine's right here. Um, so at this point, you're pretty much done and you're ready to boot with PXE to install your Windows 10 image. But 
for the more consumer side of products, um, like, I don't know, Acer laptops or Lenovo consumer grade laptops, uh, usually the, 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 the networking driver will not load automatically. Um, and so you have to go and download that and add it to this driver's directory. And to do that, you have to just right click, you do add driver group, you just name the driver. Uh, so see here, I have a X220 drivers, which is for my Lenovo X220. And then within that, you can add uh, the drivers so that it'll boot. Um, I will probably be, be making a tutorial on how to add the networking drivers and other types of drivers if you need um, to WDS. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. And I hope that this was a clear enough uh, video that explained how to add Windows 10 to WDS. Um, if you have any questions, you can always shoot me a tweet or PM me on Twitter. Uh, it's absolute underscore frosty or twitter.com forward slash absolute underscore frosty. That's pretty much the social media platform that I use to, to contact uh, my fans and other people. So just head over there and I would greatly appreciate it if you could uh, follow me. I also have a merch store with Spreadshirt. The link to that is in my channel links um, section on the main page of my channel. So just head over there, click that, and uh, there are iPhone cases, t-shirts that I'm still finalizing, but by the time you're watching this video, they will probably be finalized already. So please feel free to head over there if you would like to support me financially, and um, it's greatly appreciated. So thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions or any recommendations for future videos that you would like me to make. So yeah, see you in the next one.